Prelude, the Landscape of Hopelessness In the quietest moments of our lives, beneath the bustling noise of our daily routines, lies a landscape that many of us visit but seldom speak about, a terrain marked by the shadows of hopelessness. It's a place where joy seems a distant memory and the light of hope flickers weakly in the overwhelming darkness. Yet, it's in this very landscape that the most profound battles are fought and the most significant victories are won, often unseen and unheard by the world. This book is birthed from the understanding that hopelessness is not just a phase but a profound experience that shapes our lives. It stems from myriad causes loss, failure, loneliness, or the relentless pressure of living up to an impossible ideal. These experiences weave into the fabric of our being, casting a long shadow over our sense of self and our outlook on life. But what if I told you that within this shadow lies the potential for incredible transformation? That the journey through hopelessness is not just a path to enduring the darkness but a voyage towards finding a light that is all the more precious because of the shadows it dispels. Hopeless, silent battles, unseen victories is not merely a guide, it is a companion for your journey. It acknowledges the pain, the struggle, and the sheer effort it takes to stand up each day and face a world that seems devoid of light. This book is here to walk with you through the depths, to explore the causes and manifestations of hopelessness in our lives, and to provide you with the tools to navigate this challenging terrain. Our exploration is rooted in the belief that within every experience of hopelessness, there is a lesson, a strength to be uncovered, and a new perspective to be gained. Together, we will discover how these silent battles can lead to unseen victories, how the very experience of hopelessness can become a catalyst for profound personal growth and transformation. Let this prelude be the first step on your journey towards a life filled with hope and purpose. Remember, the night is always darkest just before the dawn. And it is in the darkness that we find the true measure of our light. Chapter 1 Understanding the Roots of Hopelessness As we begin our journey through the shadows, our first step is to understand the terrain itself. Hopelessness, with its heavy cloak, often descends upon us silently, its roots deeply entangled in the fabric of our psyche, our environment, and the society we inhabit. This chapter invites us to embark on a reflective exploration into the psychological, environmental, and societal factors that nurture the seeds of hopelessness, aiming to illuminate the often unseen influences that shape our experiences of despair. Understanding the roots of hopelessness is akin to mapping the labyrinth of our inner world, recognizing the external forces at play, and identifying the societal norms that may unknowingly guide us towards feelings of despair. By encouraging readers to identify their personal triggers, this chapter seeks to empower you with the knowledge and insight needed to navigate the complexities of hopelessness with a renewed sense of awareness and control. We will delve into the intricate dance between our environment and mindset, examining how each influences our perception of hope and despair. This exploration is not about attributing blame but about understanding the dynamic interplay that shapes our emotional landscape. Furthermore, we confront the often unspoken societal expectations that contribute to our inner void, questioning the standards we strive to meet and the impact they have on our sense of self and our feelings of hopelessness. This chapter is your starting point for transformation, providing a foundation upon which we can build our journey out of the darkness. By understanding the roots of hopelessness, we begin to see the threads that connect our personal experiences to the larger tapestry of human emotion and in doing so, we start to unravel the knots of despair that bind us. Identifying Personal Triggers of Hopelessness the journey toward understanding and overcoming hopelessness begins with a deep, introspective look into our own lives to identify the triggers that plunge us into despair. These triggers are personal and varied, often rooted in our past experiences, fears, losses, or even in the day-to-day -day challenges we face. Recognizing these triggers is the first step toward empowerment as it allows us to anticipate and mitigate the impact of these factors on our mental and emotional well-being. 1. Self-reflection. The process of identifying personal triggers of hopelessness requires honest self-reflection. This involves looking back at moments of despair and attempting to understand what preceded those feelings. Was it a comment from a loved one, a failure at work, or perhaps a reminder of a past trauma? Acknowledging these triggers can be painful but is crucial in learning how to navigate them. 2. Patterns of despair. As we reflect on our experiences, patterns may begin to emerge. 
Certain situations, people, or even times of the year might consistently evoke feelings of hopelessness. Recognizing these patterns is key to understanding our emotional responses and preparing ourselves to face these triggers more effectively in the future. 3. External Versus Internal triggers, it's important to differentiate between external triggers, such as events or interactions with others, and internal triggers, which originate from our thoughts and beliefs. Understanding this distinction helps us to address these triggers more directly, whether by changing our environment or by working on our internal thought processes. By identifying the personal triggers of hopelessness, we equip ourselves with the knowledge needed to confront and manage these feelings. This awareness is a powerful tool in our arsenal as we navigate through the shadows of despair, guiding us towards the light of hope and resilience. The Role of Environment versus Mindset in Feeling Hopeless In unraveling the complex web of hopelessness, it's crucial to examine the intricate dance between our environment and our mindset. These two factors, though distinct, interact in profound ways that can significantly influence our feelings of despair or hope. 1. Environmental influences, our environment, be it our home, workplace, or social circles, plays a significant role in shaping our emotional landscape. Chaotic, stressful, or unsupportive environments can erode our sense of security and belonging, creating fertile ground for hopelessness to grow. This aspect of our discussion invites us to reflect on the physical and social environments we inhabit and their impact on our mental health. 2. Mindset matters. While our environment sets the stage, our mindset orchestrates our experience of hope or hopelessness. A mindset that leans towards pessimism or defeatism can color our interpretation of events, leading us to overlook possibilities for change or improvement. Understanding the power of mindset empowers us to challenge and reshape our thought patterns, fostering a more hopeful perspective even in less than ideal circumstances. 3. Interplay and Balance The relationship between environment and mindset is not one-directional but rather a dynamic interplay. A supportive, positive environment can bolster a resilient mindset, just as a strong, optimistic mindset can mitigate the effects of a challenging environment. Recognizing this interplay allows us to seek balance, making environmental changes where possible and cultivating a resilient mindset to navigate what we cannot change. This discussion aims to illuminate the nuanced ways in which our surroundings and our internal dialogues converge to influence our experience of hopelessness. By dissecting the roles of environment and mindset, we equip ourselves with a dual approach to confronting feelings of despair, actively shaping our environment and our perceptions to pave the way for hope and healing. How Societal Expectations Contribute to Our Inner Void Societal expectations, those silent, often unspoken demands about who we should be, what we should achieve, and how we should behave, play a significant role in shaping our sense of self and our emotional well-being. These expectations can create a profound inner void when they don't align with our true selves or when they seem unreachable, leaving us feeling inadequate and hopeless. 1. The Pursuit of Perfection Society often glorifies perfection, be it in our careers, physical appearance, or personal lives. This relentless pursuit can lead to a constant sense of failure, as the goalposts of perfection are always moving. Recognizing that these standards are not only unrealistic but also unhealthy is the first step in freeing ourselves from the burden of societal expectations. 2. Comparison and Competition With the rise of social media, the opportunity to compare our lives with others has never been more accessible. This comparison can exacerbate feelings of inadequacy and hopelessness as we measure our real-life challenges against others' curated, highlight reels. Understanding that these comparisons are often misleading can help mitigate their impact on our self-esteem. 3. The Stigma of Vulnerability Society frequently stigmatizes vulnerability, equating it with weakness. This stigma can deter us from expressing our struggles or seeking help, exacerbating feelings of isolation and despair. Challenging this notion and embracing vulnerability as a strength allows for a more authentic connection with ourselves and others, filling the inner void with genuine relationships and support. Acknowledging the influence of societal expectations on our sense of hopelessness is crucial in understanding the roots of our emotional experiences. By identifying and challenging these external pressures, we can begin to cultivate a life that aligns more closely with our values and aspirations, rather than a life dictated by societal norms. 
This alignment is key to filling our inner void with meaning, purpose, and, ultimately, hope. Conclusion As we draw this chapter to a close, we stand at the threshold of a profound realization, the roots of hopelessness, while complex and deeply intertwined with our psyche, environment, and societal constructs, are not beyond our understanding or our ability to influence. By delving into the personal triggers of hopelessness, acknowledging the significant role of our environment and mindset, and confronting the often unrealistic expectations placed upon us by society, we begin to see the outline of a path forward, a path that leads out of the shadows and into the light. This exploration is not just an academic exercise, it is a call to action. It invites us to reflect, to challenge, and to grow. Identifying our personal triggers empowers us to anticipate and manage our responses to them. Understanding the interplay between our environment and mindset opens the door to changes that can transform our outlook. Recognizing the detrimental effects of societal expectations allows us to redefine success on our own terms, fostering a sense of authenticity and purpose. As we prepare to step into the next chapter, the mind's maze, cognitive distortions and hopelessness, we carry with us the insights and reflections from this initial journey. The understanding of our hopelessness's roots equips us with the knowledge to navigate the complexities of our thoughts and emotions. We are ready to confront the cognitive distortions that warp our perceptions and perpetuate our despair, armed with the resilience and determination forged in the crucible of our silent battles. This journey is not easy, nor is it quick. But with each step, each revelation, and each act of courage, we move closer to a life marked not by the absence of despair, but by the presence of hope. The victories may be silent and the battles unseen, but they are no less significant. For in understanding the roots of our hopelessness, we begin to reclaim our power over it, setting the stage for a future where the light of hope shines all the brighter for having emerged from the darkness. Chapter 2, The Mind's Maze, Cognitive Distortions and Hopelessness As we navigate the shadowy paths of our inner landscapes, we often encounter a deceptive maze constructed by our own minds, a labyrinth of cognitive distortions that warp our perception of reality, fueling the fires of despair and hopelessness. This chapter embarks on an exploration of these mental mirages, uncovering the common cognitive distortions that chain us to our darkest thoughts and feelings. By shedding light on these deceptive patterns, we aim to arm ourselves with the knowledge and tools necessary to break free from the maze of despair and navigate towards a horizon of hope. Cognitive distortions, the misleading thoughts that distort our perception of reality, are often at the heart of our emotional turmoil. These insidious patterns of thinking can lead us to interpret situations in a way that confirms our worst fears and doubts, plunging us deeper into the abyss of hopelessness. Recognizing these distortions is the first step in disarming them, a process akin to finding a map that reveals the way out of the mental maze we've been trapped in. In this chapter, we will take a look into the most common cognitive distortions linked to hopelessness, from catastrophic thinking to overgeneralization and beyond. Each distortion will be illuminated, not to highlight despair, but to pave the way for transformation. We will explore techniques for challenging these pessimistic thoughts, turning the lens of scrutiny upon them to reveal their inaccuracies and distortions. Furthermore, the impact of mindfulness in untangling the web of cognitive distortions will be explored, offering a path towards clarity, resilience, and hope. Embarking on this journey through the mind's maze, we confront the distortions that have long held sway over our emotions and actions. This exploration is not just about understanding the nature of our despair but about reclaiming the power to shape our perceptions, our thoughts, and, ultimately, our lives. Through recognition, challenge, and mindfulness, we can begin to dismantle the walls of the maze, step by step, thought by thought, leading ourselves into the light of hope and possibility. Common Cognitive Distortions Link to Hopelessness in the depths of despair, our minds often betray us, weaving intricate narratives that distort our perception of reality. These cognitive distortions, misleading thought patterns, play a significant role in perpetuating feelings of hopelessness. Understanding these distortions is crucial for unwinding the mental traps we find ourselves in. Let's explore some of the most common cognitive distortions linked to hopelessness. 1. Catastrophizing. This distortion involves expecting the worst possible outcome in any situation, no matter how unlikely. 
For someone grappling with hopelessness, a minor setback can feel like an insurmountable disaster, leading to an overwhelming sense of dread and despair. 2. Overgeneralization. Here, one negative event is seen as a never-ending pattern of defeat. For instance, failing at a task doesn't just mean a single failure, it's seen as evidence that one will always fail, reinforcing feelings of hopelessness and inadequacy. 3. Filtering. Filtering means focusing exclusively on the negative aspects of a situation while ignoring any positive elements. This skewed perspective can make the world seem more daunting and devoid of hope than it truly is. For all-or-nothing thinking, also known as black-and-white thinking, this distortion presents life in extremes. You're either perfect or a complete failure, with no middle ground. This unrealistic standard can lead to a profound sense of hopelessness, as perfection is an unattainable goal. 5. Personalization. This involves blaming oneself for every negative event, even when you have no control over the situation. Personalization can lead to an overwhelming burden of guilt and hopelessness, as it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. 6. Jumping to conclusions. This includes mind reading, assuming you know what others are thinking, and fortune telling, predicting future events, often in a negative light. This distortion fosters a sense of hopelessness by convincing you that bad outcomes are inevitable and that others view you negatively without any factual basis. Recognizing these cognitive distortions is the first step towards challenging and changing them. By identifying the patterns of thought that contribute to feelings of hopelessness, we can begin to question and adjust our mindset, opening the door to a more balanced and hopeful perspective on life. Techniques for Challenging Pessimistic Thoughts Pessimistic thoughts, often fueled by cognitive distortions, can lead us into a spiral of hopelessness. However, by employing specific techniques, we can challenge and change these negative thought patterns. Here are effective strategies designed to counteract pessimism and foster a more hopeful outlook. 1. Evidence-based thinking. This technique involves examining the evidence for and against your negative thoughts. Ask yourself, what evidence do I have that this thought is true? What evidence exists that contradicts this thought? This approach encourages a more balanced perspective, highlighting the fact that our pessimistic views are not always grounded in reality. 2. The Double Standard Method Treat yourself as kindly as you would treat a friend in a similar situation. Often, we are much harsher on ourselves than on others. By applying the same compassion and understanding to ourselves that we would offer to a friend, we can soften the impact of negative self-judgments. 3. Reframing. Reframing involves changing the way we interpret a situation. Instead of viewing a challenge as a confirmation of hopelessness, we can see it as an opportunity to learn and grow. By shifting our perspective, we can find value in adversity and develop a more resilient and hopeful outlook. 4. Graded exposure. Gradually expose yourself to the situations or thoughts that you fear in a controlled and manageable way. This can help reduce the fear and negativity associated with them. By facing our fears step by step, we build confidence and diminish the power of pessimistic thoughts. 5. Mindfulness and acceptance. Practice being present in the moment without judgment. Mindfulness encourages us to observe our thoughts and feelings without labeling them as good or bad. This can help us detach from negative thought patterns and accept our experiences, reducing the impact of pessimism. 6. Socratic Questioning This technique involves critically questioning your pessimistic thoughts in a systematic way. Ask yourself questions like, is this thought based on facts or feelings? Is there another way to look at this situation? What would I tell someone else in this situation? This approach can help dismantle the logic behind negative thinking patterns. By integrating these techniques into our daily lives, we can actively challenge and change the pessimistic thoughts that contribute to feelings of hopelessness. With practice, we can develop a more balanced, hopeful perspective navigating through life's challenges with greater resilience and optimism. The Impact of Mindfulness on Cognitive Distortions Mindfulness, the practice of being present and fully engaged in the moment without judgment, offers a powerful antidote to the cognitive distortions that fuel hopelessness. By cultivating mindfulness, we can significantly diminish the impact of these distortions on our mental and emotional well-being. This section explores how mindfulness can illuminate the pathways out of the mind's maze, allowing us to encounter our thoughts and feelings with clarity and compassion.
1. Awareness and Recognition Mindfulness fosters an enhanced awareness of our thoughts and emotions, enabling us to recognize cognitive distortions as they arise. This immediate recognition is crucial as it prevents us from automatically accepting distorted thoughts as truth. By observing our thoughts with detachment, we can identify patterns of catastrophizing, overgeneralization, and other distortions without being consumed by them. 2. Breaking the cycle of rumination. Rumination, the tendency to overthink or obsess about situations or life events, often exacerbates cognitive distortions. Mindfulness interrupts this cycle by anchoring us in the present moment, redirecting our focus from past regrets or future anxieties to our current experience. This shift in focus can dissolve the power of ruminative thoughts, creating space for a more balanced perspective. 3. Cultivating non-judgmental acceptance. One of the foundational aspects of mindfulness is the practice of non-judgment. By approaching our thoughts and feelings with curiosity and compassion, rather than criticism, we can mitigate the harshness of self-blame and personalization. This acceptance helps us to confront and dismantle cognitive distortions without self-recrimination, fostering a kinder, more supportive internal dialogue. For enhancing emotional regulation, mindfulness aids in emotional regulation, reducing the intensity and impact of negative emotions associated with cognitive distortions. Through practices such as focused breathing and body scans, mindfulness encourages a physiological state of calm, enabling us to approach our thoughts and feelings with greater equanimity. This emotional stability is key to challenging and reframing pessimistic thoughts. 5. Promoting Cognitive Flexibility Finally, mindfulness enhances cognitive flexibility, the ability to see situations from multiple perspectives. This flexibility allows us to question and reframe cognitive distortions, finding alternative, more balanced ways of interpreting our experiences. By opening our minds to a broader range of possibilities, mindfulness counters the tunnel vision created by black and white thinking and catastrophizing, guiding us towards a more hopeful outlook. The impact of mindfulness on cognitive distortions is profound and multifaceted. By embedding mindfulness practices into our daily lives, we can begin to loosen the grip of hopelessness, navigating through the mind's maze with greater clarity, compassion, and resilience. Conclusion As we conclude our journey through the intricate maze of cognitive distortions, it's clear that the path to overcoming hopelessness is both challenging and enlightening. This chapter has illuminated the various traps our minds set for us, distorting reality in ways that fuel despair. Yet, with each step, we've also discovered powerful strategies and insights that empower us to challenge and transform these distortions. Recognizing and addressing cognitive distortions is not a simple task, it requires vigilance, patience, and practice. Techniques for challenging pessimistic thoughts, from evidence-based thinking to the practice of mindfulness, offer us a toolkit for reshaping our mental landscape. These tools don't just diminish the power of negative thoughts, they open us up to new perspectives, fostering a sense of hope and possibility. The impact of mindfulness, in particular, underscores the transformative power of presence and acceptance. By engaging with our thoughts and emotions from a place of non-judgment, we learn not to be swayed by the ebb and flow of our internal narratives. This steadiness is a testament to our innate capacity for resilience, a theme we will explore further in the next chapter. As we transition from understanding the roots of hopelessness to building emotional strength, let's carry forward the insights gained from navigating the mind's maze. The awareness and skills we've developed here are foundational to our journey, providing us with the clarity and courage needed to face the challenges ahead. In the upcoming chapter, Building Resilience Tools for Emotional Strength, we will look into the practical and psychological tools necessary for fortifying ourselves against the tides of despair. By cultivating resilience, we not only withstand the storms of life but also emerge from them stronger, more grounded, and hopeful. The journey continues, with each step taking us closer to the light of understanding and the strength to thrive amidst adversity. Chapter 3 Building Resilience Tools for Emotional Strength In the journey through the shadows of hopelessness, resilience emerges as a beacon of light, offering strength and stability amidst the chaos of our inner worlds. Chapter 3 Building Resilience Tools for Emotional Strength is dedicated to uncovering the foundations of this invaluable trait, guiding you through the practical and psychological strategies that can fortify your spirit against the onslaught of despair. 
Resilience is not an innate, unchangeable quality but a skill that can be nurtured and developed over time. It is the emotional muscle that allows us to bounce back from setbacks, adapt to change, and continue forward in the face of adversity. This chapter sets out to define what emotional resilience truly means, debunking myths and illuminating the characteristics that make up a resilient individual. The journey towards resilience is not one we walk alone. The role of support systems, friends, family, and community cannot be overstated in their importance for our emotional health. Here, we explore how to cultivate and lean on these support networks, drawing on their strength in times when our own may falter. Finally, we delve into strategies for emotional regulation, essential tools for managing the intense emotions that can accompany periods of hopelessness. From mindfulness techniques to cognitive behavioral strategies, we will equip you with the means to navigate through emotional turbulence with grace and composure. As we embark on this chapter, remember that building resilience is a journey of discovery and growth. It is about finding strength in vulnerability, courage in adversity, and light in the darkest of places. Let us step forward with the intention to strengthen our emotional resilience, transforming our silent battles into unseen victories. Defining and Developing Emotional Resilience At the heart of our journey through the shadows of hopelessness lies the power of emotional resilience, the capacity to navigate life's adversities with strength and adaptability. This chapter opens by exploring the essence of emotional resilience, what it means, why it's crucial, and how we can cultivate it within ourselves to stand firm in the face of despair. What is emotional resilience? Emotional resilience refers to our ability to bounce back from stress, adversity, failure, challenges, or even trauma. It's not about avoiding these experiences or denying the pain they cause, rather, resilience is about experiencing the full breadth of emotion that comes with these situations and then finding a way to move forward. Resilient individuals can navigate through dark times without losing themselves to despair, emerging on the other side not just intact but often stronger and more insightful. Why is emotional resilience crucial? The importance of emotional resilience cannot be overstated. In a world where change is the only constant and life can often feel like an unending series of challenges, resilience acts as our psychological immune system. It protects us from the potentially debilitating effects of stress and hopelessness, allowing us to maintain our equilibrium and continue moving forward. Emotional resilience is crucial for mental health as it buffers us against depression, anxiety, and other mental health challenges. How can we develop emotional resilience? Developing emotional resilience is akin to strengthening a muscle, regular exercise and mindful practice are key. Here are foundational strategies to cultivate resilience. 1. Self-awareness. Understanding your emotional responses and triggers is the first step. This involves reflecting on how you typically react to stress and adversity and identifying patterns that may either support or hinder your resilience. 2. Mindset shifts. Cultivating a resilient mindset means embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, rather than insurmountable obstacles. This shift includes practicing optimism, maintaining a hopeful outlook, and viewing failures as lessons rather than defeats. 3. Emotional regulation. Developing skills to manage and regulate your emotions is crucial. This can include techniques like deep breathing, mindfulness, and meditation, which help calm the mind and reduce the intensity of emotional reactions. 4. Self-care. Prioritizing physical and mental health through exercise, nutrition, sleep, and relaxation practices strengthens our overall resilience. When we take care of our bodies, our minds are better equipped to handle stress. 5. Strong Support Networks – Building and maintaining strong, supportive relationships with friends, family, and community members provide emotional support and validation, which are vital for resilience. Knowing you have a support system can make facing adversities less daunting. 6. Continuous Learning and Adaptability – Embracing a mindset of continuous learning and adaptability allows us to navigate life's changes more effectively. Being open to new experiences and flexible in the face of change fosters resilience by enhancing our capacity to adjust and find new ways forward. Developing emotional resilience is a dynamic, ongoing process. It requires intentionality, effort, and the willingness to face and grow from life's challenges. By cultivating resilience, we not only shield ourselves from the depths of despair but also equip ourselves to lead a more fulfilling, hopeful life. 
the role of support systems and how to cultivate them. Within the fabric of resilience, the threads of social connections and support systems hold a critical place. Our relationships with friends, family, and the wider community provide a safety net that can catch us when we fall, offering emotional sustenance, practical assistance, and a sense of belonging that is indispensable during times of despair. This section explores the pivotal role of support systems in building resilience and outlines practical steps for cultivating these vital networks. The Role of Support Systems in Building Resilience Support systems serve multiple functions in the context of resilience. 1. Emotional support. Knowing that you have someone to turn to for empathy, understanding, and validation can significantly lessen the emotional toll of stressful situations. This emotional backing is a cornerstone of psychological resilience. 2. Practical help. Beyond emotional support, our networks often provide tangible assistance, be it advice, financial help, or a helping hand in daily tasks. Such practical support can alleviate stressors, allowing us to focus on recovery and forward movement. 3. Perspective and advice. Friends, family, and mentors can offer invaluable perspectives and advice that help us navigate challenges. Their insights can shed light on solutions we might not have considered, offering new pathways out of tough situations. 4. Sense of belonging. Strong support networks contribute to our sense of belonging and identity. This feeling of being part of a community can anchor us during times of personal upheaval, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. How to Cultivate Support Systems Building and maintaining a robust support system requires intentionality and effort. Here are strategies to cultivate these essential relationships. 1. Be proactive in your relationships. Don't wait for a crisis to invest in your relationships. Regularly reach out, show interest in the lives of others, and offer your support. Strong relationships are built on mutual care and effort. 2. Diversify your support network. Seek to build a diverse network that includes family, friends, colleagues, and community members. Different people can offer different types of support, enriching your resilience with a wide range of perspectives and resources. 3. Join groups or communities. Engage with groups or communities that share your interests, values, or experiences. These can be in-person groups such as clubs or community organizations or online communities. Shared experiences can foster a deep sense of connection and support. 4. Be open and vulnerable. Building deep, supportive relationships requires openness and vulnerability. Sharing your thoughts, feelings, and challenges can invite others to do the same, deepening the bonds of support. 5. Offer support to others. Support systems are reciprocal. By offering your support to others, whether through listening, helping out, or providing advice, you strengthen the network for everyone involved. 6. Seek professional support when needed. Sometimes, the support we need may go beyond what friends and family can provide. Professional support from therapists, counselors, or support groups can be invaluable, offering specialized assistance and a safe space to work through challenges. Cultivating a strong support system is a dynamic process that enriches our lives and bolsters our resilience. By investing in these relationships, we not only enhance our ability to navigate life's challenges but also contribute to a network of support that uplifts others in their times of need. Strategies for Emotional Regulation During Tough Times Navigating through life's challenges requires not only the support of those around us but also the ability to manage and regulate our own emotions. Emotional regulation is a cornerstone of resilience, empowering us to face adversity with grace and maintain our well-being in the face of despair. This section offers practical strategies for emotional regulation during tough times, providing tools to manage stress, anxiety, and the myriad emotions that can arise during periods of difficulty. 1. Acknowledge your emotions. The first step in emotional regulation is acknowledging and accepting your emotions. Recognizing what you feel without judgment allows you to understand the emotional landscape you're navigating. This acceptance is crucial, it's the ground from which you can begin to address and manage your feelings effectively. 2. Practice Mindfulness and Meditation Mindfulness and meditation are powerful practices for emotional regulation. By focusing on the present moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment, you can gain insights into your emotional patterns and triggers. 
These practices help create a space between stimulus and response where you can choose how to act on your emotions thoughtfully. 3. Utilize deep breathing techniques. Deep breathing is a simple yet effective tool for managing emotional intensity. Techniques such as diaphragmatic breathing or the 478 method can calm the nervous system, reduce stress, and help regain emotional equilibrium. These practices can be especially beneficial in moments of acute stress or anxiety. 4. Engage in physical activity. Physical activity is a proven way to reduce stress and improve mood. Exercise releases endorphins, the body's natural mood elevators, which can help alleviate feelings of despair or anxiety. Even a short walk or a brief session of stretching can have a significant impact on your emotional state. 5. Keep a journal. Journaling offers a private, reflective space to explore and express your emotions. Writing about your feelings and experiences can provide clarity, release emotional tension, and help you identify patterns or triggers in your emotional responses. It's also a space to document coping strategies that have been effective, serving as a resource you can return to. 6. Develop a supportive self-talk. The way we talk to ourselves significantly impacts our emotional well-being. Cultivating a compassionate and supportive internal dialogue can bolster your resilience during tough times. Challenge negative or critical self-talk with kindness and understanding, reminding yourself of your strengths and past successes in overcoming adversity. 7. Seek professional help when needed. Sometimes, emotional regulation requires assistance beyond what we can provide for ourselves. Seeking the help of a mental health professional can offer new strategies and perspectives for managing emotions. Therapy can be an invaluable resource in building emotional resilience, providing support and guidance tailored to your needs. Emotional regulation is not about suppressing your feelings but about understanding and managing them in a way that supports your well-being and resilience. By incorporating these strategies into your daily life, you can navigate the emotional ups and downs of tough times with greater ease and confidence, paving the way for healing and growth. Conclusion As we close this chapter on building resilience, we stand at a critical juncture in our journey from the depths of hopelessness to the peaks of emotional strength. We've traversed the landscape of resilience, understanding its core, the pivotal role of support systems, and the essential strategies for emotional regulation. These insights and tools are not just theoretical concepts but practical guides for everyday life, designed to empower you to navigate through tough times with greater adaptability, strength, and hope. Building resilience is a deeply personal and continuous process. It involves cultivating an inner sanctuary of strength that can withstand life's storms, learning to lean on and contribute to the strength of our communities, and mastering the art of emotional regulation to maintain our equilibrium in the face of adversity. This journey towards resilience is paved with challenges, but it is also marked by immense growth and the potential for profound transformation. To further enrich your understanding and mastery of resilience, I strongly recommend listening to Building Resilience from Better Life Library. This resource explores deeper into the nuances of resilience, offering additional insights and strategies to strengthen your emotional fortitude. You can find it in the description below, a valuable companion in your ongoing quest for resilience. As we transition to Chapter 4, The Power of Connection Overcoming Isolation, we build on the foundation laid in this chapter. The next phase of our journey will explore the critical importance of social connections and community in combating feelings of hopelessness. We'll examine the detrimental effects of isolation on mental health, navigate the steps to seek and nurture supportive relationships, and unlock the transformative power of vulnerability in forming deep, meaningful connections. The journey of building resilience is a testament to our capacity for change, growth, and connection. It's a path that leads us not only to overcome the shadows of hopelessness but also to discover a deeper sense of purpose, belonging, and joy in our lives. Let us move forward with courage, knowing that each step we take is a step towards a stronger, more resilient self, capable of facing the challenges of life with grace and determination. Chapter 4 The Power of Connection Overcoming Isolation In the landscape of human experience, the stark terrain of isolation stands as a formidable challenge, casting long shadows over our mental and emotional well-being. 
Yet, against this backdrop of solitude, the power of connection emerges as a vital lifeline, illuminating our path with the warmth of shared experiences and the strength of communal bonds. The power of connection overcoming isolation digs into the profound significance of social connections and community in dispelling the clouds of hopelessness, offering practical insights and strategies for weaving the threads of meaningful relationships into the fabric of our lives. Isolation, whether physical, emotional, or both, can significantly impact our mental health, leaving us feeling detached, despondent, and adrift in a sea of hopelessness. However, the human spirit thrives on connection, on the intangible yet palpable sense of belonging and being understood by others. This chapter highlights the crucial role that social connections and community play in nurturing our mental health, providing a beacon of hope and a source of resilience in the face of life's challenges. Through the pages of this chapter, we will explore the tangible effects of isolation on mental health, shedding light on the importance of bridging the gaps that distance us from one another. We will outline practical steps to seek and nurture supportive relationships, emphasizing the transformative power of connection in fostering a sense of belonging and emotional well-being. Furthermore, we will examine the role of vulnerability in forming deep, authentic connections, illustrating how our willingness to open up and share our true selves can catalyze the formation of meaningful bonds. As we navigate the complexities of overcoming isolation, let us remember that the journey towards connection is both a personal voyage and a collective endeavor. It is through reaching out and embracing the shared human experience that we can dismantle the walls of solitude, building bridges of understanding and compassion that unite us in our common quest for hope and healing. The Effects of Isolation on Mental Health Isolation, a state often characterized by a lack of contact with others or significant social interactions, casts a long shadow on mental health, its impact profound and multifaceted. In today's world, where connectivity should ostensibly be at its peak, the paradox of feeling more isolated than ever looms large. This section explores the nuanced effects of isolation on mental health, revealing how disconnection from social networks can lead to a cascade of psychological challenges. Emotional and Psychological Impact Isolation can be both a cause and a consequence of mental health issues, creating a vicious cycle that can be difficult to break. Without regular social contact, individuals may experience heightened levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. The human need for connection is ingrained, and when this need is unmet, it can lead to feelings of loneliness and worthlessness, exacerbating the risk of mental health disorders. Cognitive Decline Emerging research suggests that social isolation may also have a detrimental effect on cognitive functions. The lack of stimulating social interactions can lead to declines in areas such as memory, attention, and the ability to think clearly. Over time, prolonged isolation has been linked to an increased risk of developing more serious cognitive disorders, including dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Physical Health Risks the impact of isolation extends beyond the confines of mental and emotional health, manifesting in physical health risks as well. Isolated individuals often experience higher levels of inflammation and a weakened immune system, making them more susceptible to infections and diseases. Moreover, isolation has been associated with an increased risk of heart disease and stroke, underscoring the deep connection between social relationships and physical well-being. Behavioral Changes Isolation can lead to significant changes in behavior, with individuals often developing unhealthy coping mechanisms such as substance abuse or overeating. The absence of social feedback and support can also result in a decrease in self-care and neglect of personal health, further compounding the negative health outcomes. Social and Developmental Effects for children and adolescents, social isolation can hinder emotional and social development, affecting their ability to form and maintain healthy relationships in the future. For adults, especially the elderly, isolation can lead to a diminished sense of purpose and belonging, impacting their overall quality of life. Recognizing the profound effects of isolation on mental health is the first step in addressing this silent epidemic. By understanding the depth of its impact, we can better appreciate the value of social connections and the critical role they play in our overall well-being. As we move forward, it becomes evident that fostering and maintaining these connections is not just beneficial but essential for our mental and physical health. Steps to Seek and Nurture Supportive Relationships 
In the quest to overcome isolation and build a network of supportive relationships, intentional actions can bridge the gap between solitude and community. These steps not only guide us in seeking connections but also in nurturing and sustaining them, creating a foundation for emotional well-being and resilience against hopelessness. 1. Recognize the value of connection. Acknowledge that human connections are essential for emotional health and well-being. Understanding the value of relationships motivates us to invest time and energy in seeking and maintaining them. 2. Engage in community activities. Participate in activities that align with your interests or values. Whether it's joining a club, attending community events, or volunteering for causes you care about, these are opportunities to meet like-minded individuals. 3. Be open to new relationships. Approach new connections with an open mind and heart. Be willing to explore friendships outside your usual circle, as diverse perspectives can enrich your life and expand your support network. 4. Initiate conversations. Don't wait for others to make the first move. Initiate conversations, express interest in people's lives, and share about yourself. Simple gestures of curiosity and openness can spark lasting friendships. 5. Cultivate empathy and listening skills. Show genuine interest in others' feelings and experiences. Being a good listener not only helps others feel valued and understood but also deepens the emotional bond between you. 6. Invest time and effort. Relationships thrive on attention and care. Make time to connect, whether it's through regular meetups, phone calls, or digital communication. Consistency and effort are key to nurturing lasting relationships. 7. Embrace vulnerability. Vulnerability is a strength that fosters intimacy and trust. Share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences openly and invite others to do the same. This mutual exchange creates a strong foundation for supportive relationships. 8. Be supportive. Be there for others in their times of need. Offer your support, understanding, and encouragement. Being a source of strength for others not only strengthens your relationships but also builds a reciprocal support system. 9. Set healthy boundaries. Healthy relationships require respect for personal boundaries. Communicate your needs and limits clearly and respect others' boundaries. This ensures mutual respect and prevents misunderstandings. 10. Reflect and adjust. Regularly reflect on your relationships. Consider what's working well and what might need adjustment. Open, honest communication can address any issues and strengthen the bond. Seeking and nurturing supportive relationships is a dynamic and ongoing process. It requires intention, effort, and a willingness to connect on a deep level. By following these steps, you can build a robust network of support that enriches your life and provides a bulwark against the feelings of isolation and hopelessness. The Role of Vulnerability in Forming Connections In the search for genuine, meaningful relationships, vulnerability emerges as a foundation, a fundamental element that transforms superficial interactions into deep, enduring connections. This chapter explores how embracing vulnerability can dismantle barriers to intimacy, fostering a sense of belonging and mutual understanding that is essential for overcoming feelings of isolation and hopelessness. Embracing Vulnerability, the Gateway to Authenticity Vulnerability is the act of opening oneself up to the possibility of emotional exposure, risk, and uncertainty. It involves sharing our true thoughts, feelings, and experiences with others, even when there is a potential for judgment or rejection. This openness is not a sign of weakness but a testament to our strength and courage, a deliberate choice to show up and be seen for who we truly are. The Power of Vulnerability in Building Connections 1. Fosters Empathy and Understanding When we share our vulnerabilities, we invite others into our inner world, offering a glimpse of our genuine selves. This act of sharing fosters empathy and understanding as it allows others to see us beyond the surface level, recognizing our shared humanity. 2. Creates a safe space for mutual sharing. By being vulnerable, we signal to others that it is safe to express their own vulnerabilities. This reciprocal exchange of openness creates a foundation of trust and safety, encouraging deeper emotional connections and a sense of mutual support. 3. Strengthens emotional bonds. Vulnerability deepens emotional bonds by breaking down walls of superficiality. It cultivates a sense of closeness and intimacy as individuals feel genuinely known and accepted by each other, flaws and all. 
4. Encourages authenticity. Embracing vulnerability encourages not only ourselves but also those around us to be more authentic. In a world where social masks are common, authenticity is refreshing and attractive, drawing others toward us who value genuineness and real connection. Cultivating vulnerability, a path to connection. Cultivating vulnerability requires intentionality and practice. It begins with self-acceptance, recognizing and embracing our own imperfections and insecurities. From this place of self-compassion, we can begin to take small steps toward openness with others, choosing to share our thoughts, feelings, and experiences even when it feels uncomfortable. It's important to choose wisely whom to be vulnerable with, seeking out individuals who have shown themselves to be trustworthy and receptive. Creating a culture of vulnerability within relationships involves mutual respect, active listening, and a commitment to non-judgmental understanding. In conclusion, the role of vulnerability in forming connections cannot be overstated. It is through the courage to be vulnerable that we find the keys to genuine, supportive relationships that can sustain us through times of isolation and despair. Embracing our vulnerabilities not only connects us with others but also fosters a deeper connection with ourselves, shining a light on our innate need for connection and belonging. Conclusion As we draw this chapter to a close, we've journeyed through the critical landscape of social connections and their undeniable power to illuminate our paths out of isolation. The power of connection overcoming isolation has underscored the profound significance of nurturing meaningful relationships in dispelling the clouds of hopelessness and rekindling the light of hope and belonging in our lives. The exploration of the tangible effects of isolation on mental health has highlighted the urgent need for community and connection as fundamental pillars of our well-being. We've navigated through practical steps to seek and nurture supportive relationships, understanding that the journey towards connection requires intentional action, openness, and the willingness to invest in the fabric of our social lives. Moreover, the discussion on the role of vulnerability in forming connections has revealed vulnerability not as a weakness but as a profound strength and gateway to authenticity and deep, meaningful relationships. It is through embracing our vulnerabilities that we invite others to do the same, fostering a reciprocal exchange of genuine connection and understanding. As we transition from the insights gained in this chapter to the next, rediscovering purpose, crafting a meaningful life, we carry forward the understanding that connections and relationships are not just accessories to our lives but are integral to our journey towards finding and embracing our life's purpose. The sense of belonging, support, and shared experience that comes from deep, authentic connections provides a stable foundation upon which we can build a life of purpose and meaning. To further explore the themes of resilience and the power of connection, I strongly recommend listening to Building Resilience from the Better Life Library. This resource offers additional insights and strategies to strengthen your emotional resilience and enhance your ability to forge meaningful connections. You can find it in the description below, serving as a valuable companion on your journey towards a life marked by deeper connections, resilience, and purpose. As we move forward, let us remember that the power of connection lies not only in overcoming isolation but in enriching our lives with the warmth, strength, and joy that come from being understood, valued, and loved. Chapter 5 Rediscovering Purpose Crafting a Meaningful Life in the intricate tapestry of human existence, the quest for purpose stands as a beacon, guiding us through the fog of uncertainty and the shadows of despair. Rediscovering purpose, crafting a meaningful life, embarks on a transformative journey, illuminating the path to uncovering and embracing the unique purpose that gives our lives direction, meaning, and a sense of fulfillment. This chapter is dedicated to unraveling the profound connection between purposelessness and hopelessness, offering a roadmap to navigate out of the void of aimlessness and into a life infused with passion, values, and goals. The absence of purpose can often lead us into the depths of despair, leaving us feeling adrift in a sea of aimlessness and disconnection. Yet, the human spirit is resilient, capable of profound transformation and renewal. By delving into the heart of what truly matters to us, by discovering our personal values and passions, we can begin to forge a life that not only resonates with deep meaning but also serves as a bulwark against the encroaching tides of hopelessness. This chapter will guide you through practical and introspective techniques to unearth your intrinsic values and passions. It's about peeling back the layers of societal expectations, external pressures, and self-imposed limitations to reveal the core of your authentic self. 
From this place of self-discovery, you will learn how to set and pursue purpose-driven goals that align with your newfound understanding of what brings you fulfillment and joy. Embarking on this journey of rediscovery is not merely about finding a destination but about embracing the journey itself. It's about crafting a life that reflects who you are at your core, a life that is rich with purpose and vibrant with possibility. As we navigate the chapters of our lives, let us remember that the search for purpose is a profound act of hope, a testament to our belief in the potential for renewal and growth. Let this chapter be your compass, guiding you toward a life that not only transcends aimlessness and despair but also resonates with the profound joy and fulfillment that comes from living in alignment with your true purpose. The Link Between Purposelessness and Hopelessness at the heart of human fulfillment lies the pursuit of purpose, a guiding light that imbues our lives with meaning and direction. Conversely, the absence of this light, a state of purposelessness, often casts us into the shadows of hopelessness. This section delves into the intricate relationship between purposelessness and hopelessness, illustrating how a lack of perceived purpose can precipitate feelings of despair and disconnection from the essence of life. Understanding Purposelessness Purposelessness emerges when individuals struggle to find or recognize a meaningful direction in their lives. This void is not merely the absence of goals or objectives, but a deeper sense of disconnection from what makes life worth living. Without a clear sense of purpose, daily activities and life goals can feel hollow, contributing to a pervasive sense of aimlessness. The Descent into Hopelessness the journey from purposelessness to hopelessness is marked by an increasing loss of motivation and engagement with life. As the search for meaning yields no answers, individuals may begin to question their worth, their capabilities, and even the value of life itself. This existential quandary often leads to hopelessness, a state where individuals see no feasible path to a fulfilling life, accompanied by feelings of helplessness and despair. The Role of Purpose in Combating Hopelessness Purpose acts as an anchor, offering stability amidst life's tumultuous seas. It provides a reason to face each day with determination and hope, even in the face of adversity. When individuals discover and engage with their life's purpose, they often experience a renewal of energy and optimism. Purpose fuels resilience, enabling people to navigate through challenges without succumbing to despair. Bridging the Gap Recognizing the link between purposelessness and hopelessness is the first step in bridging the gap. By understanding this connection, individuals can begin to actively seek meaning in their lives, exploring their passions, values, and potential contributions to the world. This pursuit of purpose is not just about personal fulfillment, it's a journey towards rekindling hope and reasserting control over one's life trajectory. In summary, the relationship between purposelessness and hopelessness is a profound one, highlighting the essential role of purpose in fostering a life of fulfillment and resilience. As we move forward, we will explore practical techniques for discovering personal values and passions, laying the groundwork for setting and pursuing purpose-driven goals. Through this exploration, readers can embark on a transformative journey from aimlessness and despair to a life rich with intention and meaning. Techniques for Discovering Personal Values and Passions Embarking on a journey to discover one's personal values and passions is similar to setting out on a voyage of self-discovery. This exploration is crucial for identifying the core elements that resonate with our deepest selves, guiding us toward a life of purpose and fulfillment. Below are practical techniques designed to help individuals uncover their unique values and passions, serving as the compass for navigating the path to a meaningful life. 1. Reflective Journaling Journaling provides a reflective space to explore your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Start by writing about moments when you felt most alive, fulfilled, or proud. These reflections can reveal patterns about what matters most to you and what activities bring you joy and satisfaction. 2. Identify Peak Experiences Think back to peak experiences in your life, times when you felt a deep sense of happiness, achievement, or connection. Analyzing these moments can offer insights into your passions and values, highlighting the activities, environments, and interactions that contribute to your sense of purpose. 3. Explore your curiosities. Give yourself permission to explore new interests and hobbies without judgment. Curiosity can lead you to discover hidden passions or rekindle old ones. 
Try different activities, attend workshops, or join clubs to broaden your experiences and uncover what truly captivates you. 4. The 5 Whys Technique To delve deeper into your core values, employ the 5 Whys Technique. When you identify something important to you, ask why five times to peel back the layers of your motivations and values. This process can help clarify why certain passions are meaningful to you and how they align with your core values. 5. Visualization Exercises Engage in visualization exercises where you imagine your ideal day, your perfect job, or a life where you're completely happy. What are you doing in these visualizations? Who are you with? What achievements are you most proud of? These visual cues can highlight your values and passions by focusing on what fulfillment looks like to you. 6. Seek Feedback Sometimes our values and passions are reflected back to us through the people who know us best. Ask friends, family, or colleagues about what they think you're passionate about or what values they see you embodying. Their perspectives can offer valuable insights and affirm or reveal hidden aspects of your character. 7. Engage in volunteer work. Volunteering for causes you care about or that pique your interest can be an enlightening way to discover your passions and values. The act of giving back provides a sense of purpose and can highlight the issues and activities that resonate with your core beliefs. 8. Mind map your interests and values. Create a mind map that includes all your interests, skills, values, and experiences. Seeing these aspects of yourself laid out visually can help you identify connections between your various interests and underlying values, guiding you toward your passions. By employing these techniques, individuals can embark on an insightful journey to discover their personal values and passions. This process not only aids in uncovering a purposeful path forward but also serves as a foundational step in crafting a life that is truly meaningful and aligned with one's deepest aspirations. Setting and Pursuing Purpose-Driven Goals Once you have begun to uncover your personal values and passions, the next transformative step in crafting a meaningful life is setting and pursuing purpose-driven goals. These goals are not just any objectives, they are deeply aligned with your core values and passions, serving as milestones on your journey towards a fulfilling life. This section offers guidance on how to set these goals and strategies to pursue them with intention and resilience. Identifying Purpose-Driven Goals 1. Align goals with values and passions. Ensure your goals are deeply connected to what you've identified as your core values and passions. This alignment makes the pursuit more meaningful and fulfilling, providing motivation even in challenging times. 2. Be specific and actionable. Define your goals with clarity and specificity. Instead of vague aspirations, create concrete, achievable objectives that give you a clear direction. 3. Set short-term and long-term goals. While long-term goals give you a vision for the future, short-term goals act as stepping stones, making the journey manageable and keeping you motivated by providing frequent opportunities for success. Pursuing your goals with intention. 1. Create a plan. Break down your goals into actionable steps. Plan what actions you need to take, when you will take them, and what resources or support you might need. This roadmap will guide your daily, weekly, and monthly efforts towards achieving your goals. 2. Stay flexible. Be prepared to adapt your plan as you progress. Life's unpredictability may require you to adjust your course or even redefine your goals. Flexibility is key to overcoming obstacles without losing sight of your purpose. 3. Cultivate discipline and consistency. Regular effort and discipline are crucial. Develop routines and habits that support your goal pursuit. Consistency in small actions leads to significant cumulative effects over time. 4. Seek support and accountability. Share your goals with trusted friends, family, or mentors who can offer support, advice, and accountability. Having someone to share your successes and challenges with can greatly enhance your motivation and resilience. 5. Celebrate milestones. Acknowledge and celebrate each milestone you reach. These celebrations reinforce the value of your efforts and serve as reminders of your progress, especially during moments of doubt or difficulty. 6. Reflect and reevaluate. Regularly reflect on your journey towards your purpose driven goals. Celebrate your successes, learn from your challenges, and be willing to reevaluate and adjust your goals as you grow and gain new insights. 
7. Embrace the journey. Remember that the pursuit of purpose-driven goals is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. Embrace the growth, learning, and experiences that come with pursuing your goals. Setting and pursuing purpose-driven goals transforms the quest for a meaningful life from a concept into action. By aligning your goals with your values and passions and approaching them with intention, flexibility, and resilience, you forge a path that is uniquely yours. This journey not only brings you closer to fulfilling your purpose but also enriches your life with a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction derived from living true to yourself. Conclusion As we close the chapter on rediscovering purpose, crafting a meaningful life, we stand at the threshold of a new dawn, equipped with the knowledge and tools necessary to carve out a path defined by purpose, passion, and fulfillment. This journey, while deeply personal, reflects a universal quest for meaning that resonates in the heart of every individual. Through the exploration of personal values and passions, the establishment of purpose-driven goals, and the intentional pursuit of these aspirations, we have laid the groundwork for a life that transcends the mere act of existing to embrace a rich tapestry of lived experiences and contributions. The path to rediscovering purpose is not without its challenges. It requires courage to confront the shadows of purposelessness and hopelessness, and the resilience to navigate through them towards a horizon of self-actualization. Yet, the rewards of this journey are immeasurable. By aligning our lives with our deepest values and passions, we unlock a wellspring of energy, motivation, and joy that fuels our days and enriches our interactions with the world around us. In the pursuit of purpose-driven goals, we are reminded of the importance of flexibility, discipline, and the support of our community. These elements serve as the compass and anchor, guiding us through storms and providing solace and strength in moments of doubt. Celebrating each milestone, embracing the journey, and remaining open to the lessons along the way enrich our experience, making the pursuit of purpose not just a destination, but a journey worth cherishing. As we transition to the next chapter, a toolkit for the journey, daily practices and habits, we carry forward the insights and strategies from our exploration of purpose. The upcoming chapter builds on the foundation laid here, offering practical daily practices and habits that reinforce a hopeful mindset and support our ongoing quest for a fulfilling life. The tools and practices we will explore are designed to integrate seamlessly into the fabric of our daily lives, ensuring that our pursuit of purpose is supported by a solid framework of healthy routines, mindfulness, and physical well-being. The journey of rediscovering purpose is a continuous one, with each day offering new opportunities for growth, reflection, and contribution. As you move forward, remember that the quest for meaning is not just about the end goal but about the richness of the journey itself. Embrace each moment, each challenge, and each victory with an open heart and a purposeful spirit. Chapter 6, A Toolkit for the Journey, Daily Practices and Habits In the intricate dance of life, where shadows of hopelessness often weave through the fabric of our days, the cultivation of a hopeful mindset becomes not just beneficial, but essential. A toolkit for the journey, daily practices and habits, is designed to arm you with a collection of practical strategies and habits that serve as beacons of light, guiding you towards a mindset imbued with hope and resilience. This chapter focuses on the transformative power of daily routines, mindfulness, and the pivotal role of physical health in fostering mental well-being, offering you the tools to construct a life characterized by optimism and vitality. The journey towards hope is paved with the small, daily actions we take, actions that, over time, shape our outlook on life and our ability to confront challenges with strength and grace. Establishing daily routines that anchor us, engaging in mindfulness and meditation practices that connect us to the present moment and prioritizing our physical health to support our mental well-being are all critical elements in this endeavor. Together, they form a comprehensive toolkit that supports and enhances our journey towards a hopeful and fulfilling life. This chapter is your guide to integrating these practices into the rhythm of your daily life. It acknowledges the unique challenges and obstacles that may arise and offers practical advice for maintaining consistency in your efforts. Through the adoption of these daily practices and habits, you will find yourself better equipped to navigate the complexities of life, armed with a resilient and hopeful mindset that lights the way forward. Join us as we explore the significance of daily routines in cultivating a hopeful outlook, delve into mindfulness and meditation practices that you can incorporate into your everyday life, and examine the crucial link between physical health and mental well-being. 
Together, these components offer a robust framework for building a life that not only withstands the storms but thrives in spite of them. The importance of daily routines in building a hopeful outlook. In the quest for mental resilience and a hopeful outlook, the structure and predictability of daily routines emerge as silent yet powerful allies. Far from being mere schedules that govern our day-to-day -day activities, these routines are the scaffolding upon which we can construct a life marked by optimism, productivity, and a sense of well-being. This section examines the critical role that well-crafted daily routines play in fostering a hopeful perspective, particularly in the face of life's inherent uncertainties and challenges. Foundation for Stability and Control Daily routines provide a foundation of stability in our lives, offering a predictable structure that can be particularly comforting in times of stress or uncertainty. This sense of regularity and control is crucial for mental health as it counteracts feelings of chaos and helplessness, often precursors to hopelessness. By establishing routines, we create islands of predictability in an unpredictable world, which can be a source of comfort and security. Cultivating Productivity and Purpose Engaging in regular routines enhances productivity by allocating specific times for tasks, thereby reducing procrastination and indecision. This organization of time ensures that important goals and activities, both professional and personal, are not neglected. Moreover, the accomplishment of daily tasks provides a sense of progress and achievement, however small, reinforcing our sense of purpose and contributing to a more optimistic outlook. Enhancing Self-Care and Well-Being Daily routines are instrumental in prioritizing self-care practices that are essential for our physical and mental health. Incorporating activities such as exercise, healthy eating, and sufficient rest into our daily schedules ensures that these critical aspects of well-being are not overlooked. The regular practice of self-care not only improves physical health but also has a profound impact on mental health, fostering resilience and a positive state of mind. Building Resilience Through Consistency the consistent application of daily routines builds resilience by habituating us to patterns of behavior that support our well-being. This consistency helps to mitigate the impact of stress and adversity, as the familiarity and predictability of our routines provide a psychological buffer against the shocks and setbacks that are part of life. Over time, the disciplined adherence to routine strengthens our mental fortitude, enabling us to maintain hope and optimism in the face of challenges. Creating space for mindfulness and reflection. Well-designed routines also allocate time for mindfulness and reflection, crucial practices for maintaining a hopeful outlook. These moments of introspection allow us to connect with our inner thoughts and feelings, acknowledge our stresses and anxieties, and approach our experiences with greater awareness and acceptance. The incorporation of mindfulness practices into daily routines can significantly enhance our emotional equilibrium and contribute to a more hopeful perspective. In essence, the power of daily routines in building a hopeful outlook lies in their ability to provide structure, encourage productivity, prioritize self-care, build resilience, and create space for mindfulness. By carefully crafting and adhering to routines that align with our values and goals, we arm ourselves with a potent tool in the fight against hopelessness, paving the way for a life characterized by optimism and resilience. Mindfulness and Meditation Practices for Every Day In the bustling rhythm of modern life, mindfulness and meditation stand as sanctuaries of calm and clarity, essential practices for cultivating a hopeful mindset amidst the chaos. Integrating mindfulness and meditation into our daily routine can significantly enhance our ability to remain present, reduce stress, and foster an optimistic outlook on life. This section explores practical mindfulness and meditation practices that can be seamlessly woven into the fabric of everyday living, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities for peace and reflection. Starting the day with intention. Begin each day with a brief mindfulness meditation. Upon waking, take a few minutes to sit in silence, focusing on your breath and setting an intention for the day ahead. This practice grounds you, aligns your focus, and prepares you to face the day with a sense of purpose and calm. Mindful Breathing Breaks Throughout the day, take short breaks to practice mindful breathing. This can be as simple as pausing for a few moments to concentrate on the rhythm of your breath, acknowledging each inhalation and exhalation. These brief pauses serve as mental resets, reducing stress and helping maintain a balanced perspective. 
Engaging in Mindful Eating Transform meals into mindfulness practices by engaging in mindful eating. This involves eating slowly, without distractions, and paying attention to the taste, texture, and aroma of your food. Mindful eating enhances the enjoyment of your meals, promotes digestive health, and fosters a grateful attitude towards the nourishment you receive. Walking Meditation Incorporate walking meditation into your daily routine, whether during your commute, on a lunch break, or as part of your exercise regimen. Focus on the sensation of your feet touching the ground, the rhythm of your steps, and the sights and sounds around you. This practice connects you with the present moment and the environment, enriching your daily experiences with a sense of wonder and mindfulness. Mindfulness in Daily Activities Apply mindfulness to everyday activities such as showering, washing dishes, or gardening. By fully immersing yourself in the task at hand, observing all sensations and movements, you transform mundane activities into meditative experiences, cultivating a state of flow and presence. Evening Reflection and Gratitude End your day with a practice of reflection and gratitude. Spend a few minutes reflecting on the day's events, acknowledging both the challenges and the achievements. Then, focus on aspects of your day for which you are grateful. This practice fosters a positive mindset and encourages a hopeful outlook by highlighting the day's blessings. Guided Meditation and Relaxation Before sleep, consider engaging in a guided meditation or relaxation exercise to unwind and prepare for restful sleep. Numerous apps and online resources offer guided practices designed to relax the body and mind, promoting sleep quality and mental well-being. Incorporating mindfulness and meditation practices into your daily life doesn't require extensive time commitments or drastic changes to your routine. Even a few minutes a day can yield significant benefits, enhancing your mental clarity, emotional balance, and overall sense of hope. By making these practices a regular part of your life, you cultivate an enduring foundation for a hopeful and mindful existence. The Role of Physical Health in Mental Well-Being the intricate dance between physical health and mental well-being is a testament to the body-mind connection, underscoring the notion that caring for one is inherently nurturing the other. This section illuminates the vital role physical health plays in fortifying our mental landscape, presenting it not just as a foundation for a hopeful mindset, but as a dynamic partner in the quest for emotional resilience and positivity. The Synergy of Physical Activity and Mental Health Engaging in regular physical activity is a cornerstone of maintaining and enhancing physical health, with profound implications for mental well-being. Exercise releases endorphins, often referred to as the body's natural mood lifters, which play a crucial role in reducing stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a more vigorous workout, the act of moving your body can significantly elevate your mood, enhance your energy levels, and instill a sense of accomplishment that feeds into a hopeful outlook on life. Nutrition, fueling the body and mind. The food we consume acts as fuel not only for our physical bodies but for our mental faculties as well. A balanced diet rich in nutrients supports brain function and can impact our mood and energy levels. Incorporating a variety of whole foods, rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, can help stabilize blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, and support overall brain health, contributing to a more positive and hopeful state of mind. Restorative Power of Sleep Sleep is a critical yet often overlooked component of physical health that has a direct impact on our mental well-being. Quality sleep aids in the repair and rejuvenation of our bodies and minds, affecting our mood, cognitive function, and resilience to stress. Establishing a regular sleep schedule and creating a restful environment can enhance sleep quality, making it easier to maintain a hopeful and positive outlook even in the face of life's challenges. Mind-Body Practices for Holistic Health Incorporating mind-body practices such as yoga, tai chi, or qigong into your routine can offer dual benefits for physical and mental health. These practices combine physical movement, breath control, and meditation to improve flexibility, strength, and balance while simultaneously reducing stress, improving mental focus, and enhancing emotional calm. The Importance of Regular Check UPS Maintaining physical health also involves regular medical checkups and screenings. 
Preventative care can identify potential health issues before they become serious, reducing anxiety about health and allowing for timely treatment. Knowing that one is taking proactive steps to care for their physical health can provide peace of mind and contribute to a more hopeful outlook. In summary, the role of physical health in mental well-being cannot be overstated. By prioritizing physical activity, nutrition, sleep, and mind-body practices, individuals can create a robust foundation for not only surviving but thriving. This holistic approach to health ensures that the body and mind work in harmony, paving the way for a life filled with hope, resilience, and overall well-being. Conclusion As we conclude our exploration of a toolkit for the journey, daily practices and habits, we stand equipped with a comprehensive array of strategies designed to cultivate a hopeful mindset and fortify our mental well-being. Through the intentional integration of daily routines, mindfulness practices, and a commitment to physical health, we've laid a foundation for a life not just navigated but fully lived, characterized by resilience, optimism, and a deep-seated sense of purpose. This chapter has underscored the undeniable interconnection between our daily actions and our overall outlook on life. The practices detailed herein serve as more than mere activities, they are transformative rituals that, when consistently applied, weave the fabric of a hopeful existence. By establishing structured routines, we invite stability and predictability into our lives, creating a fertile ground for hope to flourish. Mindfulness and meditation practices anchor us in the present, allowing us to navigate life's ebbs and flows with grace and equanimity. Moreover, the role of physical health in supporting our mental well-being reminds us of the holistic nature of our quest for resilience, a journey that encompasses mind, body, and spirit. Embracing these practices is an invitation to engage deeply with the world around us, to meet challenges with a grounded sense of self, and to forge connections that enrich and sustain us. It is a testament to our capacity for growth and transformation, affirming that even in the darkest of times, we possess the tools to light our way forward. As we move towards the concluding chapter of our journey, let us carry forward the lessons learned and the practices embraced. The next chapter will offer a summary and words of encouragement designed to bolster your resolve and inspire continued growth. Remember, the path to hope and well-being is both a journey and a destination, marked by the daily choices we make and the habits we cultivate. Let this toolkit be your guide, a constant companion as you navigate the complexities of life with courage, intention, and an unwavering belief in the possibility of a brighter tomorrow. Conclusion, The Horizon of Hope As we draw the curtains on this journey, a voyage through the valleys of despair to the peaks of hope, it's essential to pause, reflect, and acknowledge the ground we've traversed together. From the shadows of hopelessness that cloud our paths to the glimmers of light that promise a brighter tomorrow, this book has been more than a guide, it has been a companion through the intricacies of the human spirit's resilience. We commenced our expedition in the landscape of hopelessness, a terrain all too familiar to many. Through understanding its roots, confronting cognitive distortions, building emotional resilience, forging connections, and rediscovering purpose, we have charted a course towards a life enriched with meaning and optimism. Each chapter, a beacon of knowledge and insight, has equipped you with the tools necessary to navigate the challenges that life invariably presents. The journey out of hopelessness into a realm of hope and fulfillment is as unique as the individual embarking upon it. Yet, the essence of this voyage is universal, the pursuit of a life that not only endures the storms but thrives in their aftermath. The lessons imparted within these pages are more than mere strategies, they are invitations to transformation, calls to action that urge us to rise, to face the dawn with courage and conviction. As we step into the horizon of hope, let us carry forward the empowerment bestowed by our newfound tools. The path ahead, though uncertain, is ripe with potential for growth, healing, and joy. Embrace the journey with an open heart and a resilient spirit, for within you lies the strength to not only dream of a brighter future but to manifest it. Let this conclusion not be an end but a gateway to continued exploration and discovery. The horizon of hope is ever-expanding, a testament to our capacity for change and the boundless potential that resides within each of us. Carry the lessons learned as a lantern in the darkness, a beacon of hope that illuminates the path for yourself and for others who may tread a similar journey. In the tapestry of life, each thread of experience, challenge, and triumph contributes to the vibrant mosaic of our existence. 
As you move forward, remember that hope is not a distant mirage but a destination within reach, crafted by the daily choices we make, the connections we forge, and the purpose that drives us. On this journey, you are both the traveler and the mapmaker, charting a course to a future brimming with possibility and light. Thank you for allowing this book to be a part of your journey. May the horizon of hope be ever in your sight, guiding you towards a life of fulfillment, resilience, and boundless joy. The path is yours to walk and the future is yours to shape. Onward to a brighter tomorrow.